Let's bring in Seth R. Freeman of uh, Glass Rant Advisory and Capital Group. He's joining us right now on the show. Seth, thanks very much for taking out the time. Yesterday's mood for the markets was primarily driven from the political front and not from the fact that coronavirus still continues to linger and still continues to weigh down on market sentiment. Well, we sure saw the impact of the Fed's announcement uh, soon okay. afterwards and the markets crashed. And today in the U.S. we saw quite, a, quite an improvement. And I guess it's, a, it's, it's an expression of some confidence that the, not only the Fed is taking action, but a belief that the, the government is also moving forward, although it seems premature, on dealing with the coronavirus. Said, so do you feel that uh, markets now could veer towards politics as well? Because that's what most uh, analysts in the U.S. have been talking about. We've heard comments coming in uh, from uh, you know bigger brokerages talking about how politics is going to be the next area of focus from a market standpoint. Well, I, I think that some pharma companies improved um, just with this idea that the Sanders uh, Med Medicare for all is less likely to happen. So, you know, that particular industry was positively impacted because of politics. But we're still very far away. It's still very early. You know, what's called Super Tuesday was what, uh, what is what um, drove the Biden push. Um, but it's still very early in our cycle. I think that the uh, coronavirus, until it's really understood how deep and broad that is, is still going to be an overhang on the market. Hmm. You said just one question from my end. Uh, if indeed this coordinated push, I mean, US has, uh, the, 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 the US government has done what it could do yesterday, and the IMF has allocated about 50 billion to combat this, do you think this coordinated action could take the US markets higher? India is somehow not quite reflecting that optimism, but if US keeps on moving higher at some point of time, it will reflect on the others too. Um, if a sense of confidence returns, uh, that would be very positive uh, for India, for all emerging markets. Uh, investors don't like the you know, uncertainty is one issue, but we're in kind of a situation of unknown. And that's, you know, it's certainly there's some speculation, you know, could this be the black swan event? And we're just going to have to have to see there's. Um, you know, more um, people in the San Francisco Bay Area where I live, um, new infections being reported, cases being reported. So it, it's certainly not over, but um, it, it could, if we get some extended improvement in sentiment, that would be very good. Okay, let's wait and watch if that happens. But Seth Freeman, thanks so much for joining us and giving us that quick perspective.